Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand merge sort time complexity using recursive tree method. In our previous video where we have discussed about the recursive tree method, so how to draw the recursive tree method and to solve the recurrence equations. So that we have discussed and the continuation of that video is this is this is the second video. It is merge sort time complexity using recursive tree method. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now let's try to understand uh, the efficiency of the merge sort by using this uh, recursive tree. So this is the recursive tree. So we have drawn this recur uh, recursive tree in our previous uh, uh, class. So uh, after obtaining this recursive tree, so we have to find the efficiency. So uh, what is the efficiency of this? Uh, so this is for the merge sort with eight elements. So for these eight elements, this is the recursive tree that has been obtained. Now what is the efficiency is for every merge function call. So every merge function call is going to take n number of comparisons. So in the substitution method and in the master's method, in the previous videos, we have discussed that this merge is going to take the amount of the number of uh, uh, step counts that are there uh, for this merge to execute is n. Okay, and uh, uh, this ms is used to divide the array into small small pieces. Other than that, uh, nothing more functional is uh, functional part is not done by this. Uh, uh, ms function call so every time we call a function call n number of comparisons are done so here the point is how many such merge function calls are made how many such merge function calls are made and uh, the number of elements that are getting solved by those merge function calls that is also very important to understand so for example so here if you take this level so how many levels are there one two Three and these three levels are obtained by uh, eight elements. For eight elements, we have obtained three levels. For eight elements, we have obtained three levels. So at each level, how many elements are getting sorted? So in this level, n number of elements are getting sorted. For example, if you take this level, how many elements are getting sorted? So the merge function calls are here is the merge function call and here is the merge function calls. But two merge function calls are there but how many elements are getting sorted so that is also very important right so in this merge function call are we solving eight elements are we sorting eight elements no we are sorting only four elements and here n by two elements four in the sense n by two elements and here it is n by two elements see here here only n by two elements are sorted okay i'll take another color here only n by 2 elements are sorted and here also only n by 2 elements are sorted okay in the, and in this next level in this next level how many such merge functions are there see here 1 2 3 and 4 even though we are having four merge function calls how many elements uh, does this merge function calls are sorting so how many elements does this merge function call is sorting m of 0 comma m of 0 comma 0 comma 1 means this part only the merging is done so the next one is 2 comma 2 comma 3 means only on these two elements the merging is done merging in the sense sorting and the next one is 4 comma 4 comma 5 only on these two elements the merging is done next one is 6 comma 6 comma 7 only on these two elements the merging is done so here n by 4 n by 4 8 by 4 two elements okay so here also n by 4 number of elements are done so the merging of the sorting of only n by 4 elements is done here also n by 4 elements is done here also n by 4 elements are done if you sum up all this what is that we are going to get it, it is going to in this level we are going to sort n elements in this level we are going to sort n by 2 plus n by 2 which is n elements and here only one uh, one single merge call and it is merging eight elements so here also it is sorting n elements okay so n so these n number of step counts are made how many times three times so what does that logically mean is with for eight elements we have obtained three levels so what does that mean is log 8 so what is the value of log 8 log 8 is log 8 base 2 which is 3 
try to get that point why we have taken base 2 because it is dividing into two halves okay so don't go deeper into the math so at this uh, now with eight elements we got three levels in each level how many such comparisons how many how many elements are getting sorted it is n n elements in each level so the number of the amount of time taken the number of comparisons that are done is n log n which is the efficiency of merge sort okay so this is how we can analyze the efficiency of the recursive functions by using recursive tree method okay so this is all about merge or time complexity using recursive tree method hope you got the point uh, hope you uh, understood the concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching